Now, you know, today's families are a lot more environmentally conscious than those in the past, and that means more than one garbage can usually in a kitchen for all the recyclables. Now, to save time in running the recyclable goods up and down the dumb waiter, we're going to try something we've never tried before, and that's to kind of use the concept of a laundry chute to move those recycled goods from this level downstairs. Now, we're going to do that by cutting a couple holes in this cabinet it, and there's another closet downstairs and we're going to position a couple pipes to act as that recycled chute that'll allow you to deposit those recycled goods directly into containers below. I hope it works. The first step is clearing out the downstairs closet. We hope to keep as many of the shelves as possible for storage space but Scott's helper Tim is taking everything out of the closet so that we'll have plenty of room to work. Now we're kind of making this up as we go, so we want to have plenty of room to change the plan if needed. Meanwhile, upstairs, Scott is busy cleaning out and laying out the locations for the two chutes. Now this is important because we have to line up holes on two different floors so that they can be connected by the pipes. The first hole is a small pilot hole followed by a slightly larger one so that we can see what obstacles might be in our way between the floors. Hey, we're in luck because it's a straight shot with no joist or framing to work around. Now Scott can begin cutting a larger hole to the finish size for the second chute. Directly below it, he marks and begins cutting another hole in the drywall ceiling of the closet. With the mystery of where it will come out resolved, the other holes can be cut to size and the closet ceiling opened further to accept the two pipes. The closet shelves don't have to be removed, but they will require some modification. Finally, we're ready for the pipe. This is the same metal duct material we used on the booster fan. The short sections work real well in a tight spot and can be joined together quickly with the foil tape. On the top side, the pipes are secured and the holes are covered with a little trap door that we're rigging up to lift up when the cabinet door opens. Finally, it's time for a test run. These are the kind of things the homeowners plan on recycling. A little newspaper, aluminum, and plastic bottles. Every household has plenty of these items. Now, what we plan on doing, the aluminum here, plastic here, and we could roll our newspapers up like this and also use another chute for those, but we have this little roll-out tray on these cabinets that have been here since the cabinets were built, and we can throw it right in there, and once the bag gets full, put it in the dumbwaiter, and it'll go right downstairs. Hey, speaking of downstairs, let's see where these chutes end up. With this set up, you're able to come right downstairs, open the closet door, and take your recyclables to be recycled. 